Good morning to all the participants and uh, today we have with us Gyan Jyoti. We are going to continue our discussion from the last session which we ended by introducing the decimal point. We discussed that the decimal point is uh, just a way of telling us which is the house of ones and which is the house of one by tens. Today we are going to begin again with place value just so that we are sure that uh, what we had discussed last time is kept in mind. So let me begin by asking Gyan Jyoti a couple of questions. Gyan Jyoti, remember in the last session you made the number 21 in three different ways. Remember? So what, was, what were the ways in which you made the number 21? First is two tens and one ones. Correct. Second is all 20 ones in ones. Mm -hmm. And third is one tens, eleven ones. One ten and eleven ones. So we made 21 in three different ways. And we also wrote 21 in three different ways. So with that bit of revision, I am going to give you a problem and you have to tell me what is this number? Twenty-four. 24. It looks like 114, but it is not 114 because this 14 is in the house of 1s and this 1 is in the house of 10s. So it is 110 and 14 1s, which is 24. Okay. Now I am going to ask you another question which you have to tell me, I have written another number beneath that number. 104. How much money is this? How many hundreds? Ones. And what is this? Four. Four in the Ten. house of? Tens. So that is? 140. 140. Four in the house of tens is 40. So this is not 14. It looks like 14. But it is not 14. It is 140. I have nothing here. When I have nothing, I can write? Zero. Zero. So now you can easily read it as 140. But even if I wrote nothing in that house, you always have to keep in mind in which house are we writing the numeral. And then we can read the number. So my next question is now, what is this number. Fourteen. Fourteen in which house? Tenth. Tenth. So, mm. how much money is it? Mm. 
14, if you have 14 10 rupee notes, how much money do you have? 140. 140. So this is also 140. So this number here, I can write 0 here and I can write 0 here. This number is equal to this number here. Okay, so when I have 14 here, I can take 10 of these. When I take 10 tens and put them together, what do I get? 20. 10 tens. 10 tens. 10, 10 rupee notes. How much is that? 10. 10, 10 rupee notes is how much money? 2 10 rupee notes is how much money? 20. 3? 30. 10, 10 rupee notes is? Mm, 10. Mm. How much money? 100. 100. Right? So I take 10, 10 rupee notes and I get 100 rupees. So I can take that one here and write it in the house of hundreds. That's why this 14 written in the house of tens and 104 tens, they are equal. Okay? Now let me continue that discussion. Again, I have house of hundreds, tens, and units. And if I write fourteen in the house of ones, how can I write it? How can I make this differently? Mm -hmm. One tens and Four ones. One ten and four ones. So, can you write that in your slate? Okay. So now, I am going to give you problems here which you have to write in your slates. So make two slates in which you have this houses written. Okay. Now in one slate, you write this, what I have written here. This is known as the, remember, this is known as the loose form. And the tight form is when I make it with tens and ones for the number 15. So can you write this in the tight form on the other slate? Oh, you already have written it. That is the tight form. So show the loose form and the tight form. Show both slates. Write, write, uh, write not there in on, on one slate write the loose form and on the other slate show the tight form so in gyan jyoti's right hand is the loose form in her left hand is the tight form so now I'm going to give some more problems and first you have to write the loose form and then think about it 
and write the tight form in the other slate. So the next problem is write the loose form and on the other slate write the tight form all right let's discuss that take the loose form in your hand that is how many tens? Ones. One ten. How many ones? Fifteen. How much money is that? Mm, one hundred fifty. Mm. One ten rupee note and fifteen one rupee notes. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. So the tight form is not mm. one hundred and fifteen. The tight form is mm. what you just told me. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. So write, write that. Okay, show the loose form and the tight form to the camera. Okay, now are you ready for the next problem? Write that in your slate in the loose form. Show that to the camera and now in your other slate write the tight form. You already have written it, right? That is the tight form. Okay. Now are you ready for the next problem? This is the loose form. Write the loose form in your slate. That is a even more loose form. This is also a loose form. What you wrote is even more loose form. Now I want you to write the tight form of this. Leave that, leave that as what you wrote, leave that. Write the tight form on your tight form slate. Your other slate is where you write the tight form. So write the tight form of this. What you wrote there, what did you write there, what is that number? 35. 35. How will you write 35 in the tight form? Okay, show, show the camera, both slates. So what uh, Jan Jyoti has shown is 35 in the loose form. This is again that same number, also in a loose form but different. And finally the tight form which is three tens and five ones. So are you ready now for the next problem? What is
this number. Write this in your loose form slate. Write this number. And in your tight form slate, write it. Oh, you already have written it. Right. So that is the loose form. 110 and 25 ones is the same as 310s and 5 ones. Okay. So now are you ready for the next problem? Write this in your loose form slate. So you wrote the answer already, right? So that is four tens and five ones is the tight form. All right. So now are you ready for? The next problem, Write this in your loose form slate. And how, what is the tight form of that? And what will you write in the house of ones? Mm -hmm. Show that, show both to the camera. So what is that number? 240. 240. Okay. So now we can go to the next problem. The next problem is... the one at the bottom. Write it in the loose form, in your loose form slate. How much money is this? This is how many rupees? Five. This is how many rupees? Fourteen. In the house of? One forty. One forty. Yeah, so the total amount of money is? Mm, One forty-five. That's right. How will you write that in the tight form? Mm. Okay, show that to the camera. Okay, now keep both slates in front of you and look at them. Study both the slates and think about it. Now I'm going to give you another problem, which is Mm -hmm. 
How much money is this? This number at the bottom? 245. Write it in the tight form and also in the loose form. Show both to the camera. Okay. And now I am going to give you a problem which you have write it, write it in your loose form slate. How much money is that? How much money is this? 140. And this? 15. So together? 155. Write that in your tight form. You can write it below, Eli. Okay. Show to the camera. Okay. Now study that. Keep both the, keep both the slates and study it. And now, I'm going to ask you another problem which you should be able to do quite easily. Mm. Write this in your loose form slate. And write in the tight form slate. Show that to the camera. What's the answer? Tight form? Seventy-five. Seventy-five. <laughs> and If this is 75, how can this be 25? Mm. This is not. This is 25. What you said, 25, this is 25. This bottom one. 110 and 115 is 25. But this is 10 tens and 115. Mm -hmm. So how much is this? How much is 10 tens? Two tens is? 20. Five tens is? 50. Ten tens is? 10. Sorry, 100. 100. So this is how much? 115. 115. Right? So write that. Write the loose form and the tight form. Okay. So now, remember you did this problem here, 
a little time back, you did this problem, and you said that this is 155. Okay? So now, what is... Very good. Write it. Okay, and now Sixty-five. So how do we get sixty-five? This two, which is actually twenty, becomes two tens. There are already four tens. So those four two tens, four tens plus these two tens become six tens. So you get six tens and five, which is sixty-five. Here, let us see. This was one fifty-five. So firstly, this ten becomes a one here. So I get. 5 here and 15 here and then these 10 tens become 100 so I get 100 5 tens and 5 let's look at this this was 114 tens these 10 tens become 100 so this comes here and I get 240 240 let's look at this 6 tens and 15 so this 10 will become 110 so it comes here I have 5 remaining and here I have 7 so this is 75 here first I will have this one coming here this will become 11 so it is 11 tens and 5 but from this 11 again I can take one here so I get 100 1, 10, and 5. And finally, this of course is the easy one. 1, 10, and 15 is 25. Coming back here, back again, 4, 25. So this 20 comes here, becomes 2 tens. So I'll have 65. So now if you know the rule, I'm going to give you a problem which is a little more difficult than all the problems you have done so far and you have to think about it and write the answer this is the problem what is write this in your loose slate. Write it and uh, never mind if you make a mistake, don't worry. Write, write what you. Oh, already you've written it. Very good. That is 255. Excellent. Yeah. 
So I think now we have understood how to convert loose forms into a tight form in various ways. So this is where we will take a break now before we go to our next session. Thank you.